cinema. Man, man, I ain't got seven fifty to pay. Everybody now. So I get Sherlock Holmes in here and have him solve the case of what the fuck went wrong with this movie. The movie starts out with nothing but buffoonery. It's it's action packed, but it's action packed buffoonery. Are you joking? Because you're saying exactly the same thing I was saying. A convoluted plot and then just gimmicks. Gimmick, 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 gimmick. It's like, where's the story? Where's the actual dialogue between Holmes and Watson that, that was so great? Sherlock Holmes went from Batman to Jackie Chan. What? Sherlock Holmes knowing Kung Fu, like well, he did Bruce his- Lee's looking at, looking from down in the grave, going, "What the?" F-? He, actually, he actually did know Kung Fu in Sir Arthur Conan Doyle's books. It was a, yeah, he was a book fighter. That he knew multiple forms of martial arts and knew how to use them and was very good at it. He, he was, was what the, they called the original a, Batman, a, a, a pugilist. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> to tell you what the movie is about, and it's important to tell you what, <laughs> yeah, tell what it's me. about because there's a, there is a lot going this on. This should be interesting. You have industrial weaponry going on that's beginning to pop up in the forms of bombings going on around the city. Political figures mysteriously dying. Is it suicide? Nobody knows. Sherlock Holmes comes in. He's like, yeah, you know, that's all right. I, I got this. OK, you know, <laughs> I'm Sherlock Holmes. I'll solve this. And he starts to realize that Moriarty has probably everything to do with all of these bombings and deaths that are happening, which pits them two together. Robert Downey Jr. was having the time of his life playing Sherlock Holmes with this. I enjoyed watching him. Robert Downey Jr. played a convincing black man. He could do anything. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. 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 I'm so, glad yeah. you said that. Because I was thinking. <laughs> he, was, he was one of the things I liked the least about it. I mean, with, with the first one, I thought he did such a great job. Now, he's way too playful to the point of being annoying. My best disguise, but let's make do. As much as I enjoyed the first movie, I spent over an hour saying to myself, when is something going to happen? And that's that's a huge letdown, for, especially for a movie that I loved the first time around. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm right there with you. It it, it had a, a really bad beginning, and I just spent the next hour waiting for it to get better. And then I had to eventually give up with the fact, like, you know what? It's not really going to. I mean, granted, that last 15 minutes was like, wow. That should have been the tone of this whole movie. And the sequence before that where they're running and the, the shooting of the wood and the slow motion and the this and the that, <laughs> uh, that, that was cool. If Guy Ritchie listened to anybody on anything, he got rid, rid of Rachel McAdams quick. In the trailer, they show Robert Downey Jr., Jude Law, Noonie Rapapa, whatever. <laughs> and, but they keep showing Rachel McAdams, but they never put a name on because it's yeah. just kind of like, this, this bitch is back to <laughs> I like Moriarty. I think that the actor they cast is miscast, but he does a great job anyway. There's just something about him that seems more thuggish than master intellectual genius. It's uh, it's his f***ed up teeth. Yeah, maybe, <laughs> maybe it is his f***ed up teeth. I don't know. You think a guy that smart would figure out how to fix his piranha mouth? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Somebody you would discuss in the same sentence as Robert Downey Jr. Right. is that type of like dynamic actor. It's too bad that Randy Savage is dead, man. <laughs> you know, he could have been Moriarty. <laughs> you know, like, what? <laughs> yeah, you'll be you said you want something more dynamic. I think, I think big times. Over. Yeah. Who's got the big brain, brother? I yeah. think there's some confusion over the meaning of this word dynamic. Yeah. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> my meaning. It became kind of a conventional action movie for me. And you know what? Don't don't introduce your villain, who's Moriarty, that's supposed to be the big badass of the film. Show me how he works, and then try to make him like some phantom menace in the background. I saw the first one on uh, DVD. I didn't love it, but I did enjoy it. But the things I didn't enjoy about it, all I said is if they could do a sequel, there's going to be more of that. And, <laughs> of course, there was. I had foreseen it. Yeah. <laughs> it. Yeah, Maybe I'm the new Sherlock Holmes. I don't know. I'll let you decide. A, a rental. It's not a terrible film, and it is such a good-looking film. I just keep going back in my mind. You know, I'm, I'm pulling that Sherlock Holmes like, I, uh, wait a minute, I didn't like that. Oh, wait a minute, I was bored here. Wait a minute, I fell asleep in this part. Uh, you put that all together, and the solution is a rental. One of the biggest crimes to me of this movie is that it's two and a half hours long, and it just doesn't justify that. I mean, the, the plot is only that long because it's so convoluted. It just it betrays so much of what I liked about the first movie. It comes down to a rental for me. The biggest problem, like I said, is that the script is just not that tight. There's lots of corners that are cut in, in non-Holmesian logic. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's nowhere near as good as the first one, but there are 
a lot of things about it still that I admired. They're, but I, I liked all the jokes. I don't know. I wasn't bored. I end up, I'm finally going to come down on a low matinee. There's too much slow motion. I tell you what, though, when the, during those slow motion scenes, <laughs> whenever I see those bullets now, I don't know why. But I keep thinking, I wish to God somebody would actually put a little face on those bullets when they're coming by so that you can hear them go, ah, yeah. <laughs> 